Prince Harry, yes, his court challenge ends today. The Duke of Sussex is suing Mirror Group newspapers for unlawful activity, including alleged hacking of his phone. That he didn't have until well, it was a bit confusing, really. All of which the tabloid uh, uh, group denies. Harry and Meghan's biographer Omid Scobie is warning a royal trashing afoot, saying his uh, next book will reveal moments the royal family should be ashamed of. It's called Endgame. Maybe it will be for him. Meanwhile, Harry is planning a, sob, uh, a solo trip to Africa for the new Netflix documentary. Oh, my goodness. Will they ever give up the Sussex's £78 million deal? Will the streaming giant is reportedly hanging in the balance after Spotify parted ways for the couple? Uh, right, well, let's uh, get straight over to royal biographer Angela Levin and find out what's going on. Angela, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but right. I think I should just say, first of all, that this is was the day of Princess Diana's birthday. Oh. And I think it will be a very sad, quiet day for both brothers because it brings it all out again and um, very sad. That's really sad. Yes. Um, Harry. OK, let's get yes. to it. I mean, he's trying to get over £500,000 out of these court case things. Um, and the mirrors offered him 500 because they think that that's quite enough, that they haven't um, really hacked into his phone and that he hasn't been able to prove anything. You know, he had feelings, but he didn't have facts. Um, but he also wanted an extra 30,000 for two articles written about his relationship with Chelsea Davy, his girlfriend before Meghan. And I thought, hello, is she going to get any of that money? You know, it was very disrupting to her for her life. Uh, has he talked to her about this? I mean, it's very, very odd. But also, which is, seems pretty shocking, is that his lawyer uh, tried to thrust a letter to the judge, mm. which came in at the last minute. Yesterday was the end of it. He had... 10 days, which he could have tried before. And he said, this will make sure that you feel that Harry has been hacked in. And being a wise judge, he said, well, I'm not even going to look at it because um, you can't have, you've got the other side have to read it and have to give their views. It's much too late. And he said, the privilege is not working at that point. So um, you quite understand that he was very shocked and just as annoyed. And what a ridiculous thing to do, to think that you can actually persuade him at the last minute, um, that he won't think it through impulsively, will um, stand on Harry, be, be on Harry's side. Um, That's uh, just frightening, isn't it? It is frightening. He thought that he would use that sort of royal privilege in that manner. Yes, absolutely. And with such arrogance, really. Yes. Then I shall leap on to Netflix. And it's interesting that Megan is working on doing a, a preview, really, of um, Dickens' book, Great Expectations. And, um, uh, you know, she's doing it as a feminist in living in a man's world. So it's before she's sort of left at the altar. And, and you think... It's not going to work before it's even got anywhere because it's all going to be about Meghan's life and men in a very difficult community and it's not fair and it's not right. I mean, everything uh, on Great Expectations since the first film in 1946 mm. has proven to be absolutely hopeless. So she's going to do that. She's staying in America. Harry wants to go to Africa and talk about the people and the animals and all that there, which he loves. He called it his second home. So he feels very happy in that. Mm. But I thought to myself, how is he going to see his children? Will he actually come back? Will he be allowed back into America? It's just almost as I though mean, they're trying the, to escape this... each other. They're literally doing things at different parts of the world to be... They're not even hanging out together. It seems very, no. very separate, doesn't it? Well, it's very separate now, isn't it? I mean, the, she wasn't there to help him in these difficult moments with the coronation and mm. actually the court case. You know, he seems to be sent off. Um, he'll enjoy it in Africa because he loves it, but not to leave the children behind, yeah, not to that's... see. That, I think that's a real um, interesting 
a thing that's going to happen because he can't come, keep coming back. And if Netflix are going to accept it, they haven't said they'd accept either of their productions, um, he's going to have to stay there for months on end. You're not going to keep flying back first class because it's going to cost much too much money. Oh, it doesn't sound like... There. It sounds like there's a lot of trouble in paradise, Angela. Yes, very quickly. Omid, oh, maybe. God. Yes, well, he's, he's Scooby Doo. Um, you know, he's already trying to sell it to say that uh, it's going to be shocking and things like that. But he, we have discovered that he went to California. Uh, we, we don't know that he saw Meghan. Seems likely. Um, and this way, they said they're not going to criticise the royal family anymore. Okay, so they're going to tell it to somebody else. This is my perception, um, and it'll come up through another's ears. And oh no, we don't know him. Harry said, "Oh, I have heard of him," um, but he also might lose his company because he hasn't sent in his paperwork. So we'll wait and see.